welcome back. We are doing the recording of 19th of January's Godly Blessing. Now, there should be a timetable for everything, right? Timetable for eating, timetable for sleeping, timetable for work. Similarly, God is talking about a timetable where you help out the world to become a better place. That means you change the world from hellish, devilish to divine world. And that can only be done when we change ourselves. So God is today talking about becoming a world benefactor. That means we have the power to actually change the world, you and me. So God here says in his own words, may you be a world benefactor <coughs> who carries out every task accurately with the proper daily set timetable and in the father's company. That means we are using God's powers, extracting his love and peace and infinite energy, which he has infinite extracting it taking it and then using that energy of love, peace, purity and happiness in doing the worldly chores. As simple as that. So God here says important people in the world have their daily timetable set. Isn't that true? A task is accurate when it is set properly according to the daily timetable. By having a proper setting, you have time and energy and one person can carry out 10 tasks instead of having a confusion. Oh, I should have gone there instead of this place. Why I could have been there first and instead of this place? And then there's an utter chaos and the work gets postponed, work gets delayed. So God says, you world benefactors are responsible souls. That means we have a responsibility. We have to use the shortest path possible. Now, it doesn't mean that you use Im impure means or you use unfair means also. So impure means and unfair means are not to be used for shortcuts, by the way. So shortcut doesn't mean the real shortcut as per the worldly ways which we think about. Shortcut over here means that you think of the best, purest and the best, fastest possible way to get something done. And God says, you world benefactors are responsible souls. In order to achieve success in every task, very important, you set your timetable and remain constantly combined with the Father. That I am going for this work, Father, God, Father, Creator, come with me, let's go and do this work together. That means you are remembering God while you are walking, while you are driving, while you are cooking, while you are reaching out to your children to school, while you are going going to school or while you are going for your work in your office, in your job place or you are opening up your shop. Anything, I am going along with my Creator, the Father. Then God says, when the Father with thousand arms is with you, thousand arms means souls who have the same vibration, same energy, same outlook towards life, pure, powerful, divine souls, they come along with you to do that work. Then instead of one task, you can carry out a thousand tasks accurately. But for that, our vibration has to be connected to the Creator so that we also meet certain souls who are also created to the or connected to the Creator. And then we come together and we do that task together and then it becomes more powerful. That means alignment of first the thoughts. One thought, that means pure thought, divine thought connected with Father. Second thing is after pure thought, Important thing is that we are doing every karma, that means words and actions, accurately as per God's guidance. It doesn't mean that one work doesn't get done of yours and you get irritated, frustrated, you start blaming, complaining and cursing that person. No, that is not having God along with you. That's not a combined form. Be aware of this. Otherwise, you're moving one step forward and you're moving 10 steps backwards. That work, that task which you want to do will become delayed. Moreover, People will not be there to support you. That means people in his frequency will not be there around you to support you to get the work done. As simple as that. So that means patience, honesty, humility, divinity, purity are certain values or virtues which one needs to use so as to be in combined form with the Creator and then get the work done and then decide about getting the task done. How do you do that? How do you reach that level of purity, divinity? That is what you learn in the seven day course, which you can do with me, or you can get connected to a Brahma Kumari center in your own city. With this, Om Shanti.